Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're talking a little bit of pitching. We're talking about taking back the middle of the plate. Before we do that, today's video is powered by Triton. If you guys follow our stuff, you know that we use Triton jerseys and gear. They do an amazing job. We definitely recommend that you go and check them out. Go to their website, custombaseballjerseys.com. You can check out everything they do over there. We highly recommend it. Okay, taking back the middle of the plate, being aggressive as a pitcher, putting the hitter on defense. Okay, what I recommend is within the first two pitches, you've got to throw a strike. Okay, you've got to throw a strike with the first two pitches. All right, at least one of those pitches has to be a strike. If you do that, you're going to be way, way more successful. And to do that, you have to start to think about being aggressive as a pitcher and taking back the middle of the plate and not just trying to nibble and just live on the corners all the time. What I see when pitchers get in trouble is they never want to give in. They, they, they get afraid, oh, if I throw it over the heart of the plate, if I throw it over the middle of the plate, I'm going to get hit. And so they try to nibble, oh, ball one. And they try to nibble again, ball two. And then guess what? Well, now they have to come back over the middle of the plate. But they have to do so when the hitter knows they have to come back over the middle of the plate, right? It's 2-0. It's 3-1. You know, they're always falling behind. I know as a hitter that there's nothing better than when a pitcher tries to nibble, falls behind, and then I know that they've got to come to me, right? But it feels much different. I used to not like when I'd get up there and boom, this guy's coming right at me, right from the get-go, right? I step in the box and boom, strike one. Boom, strike two. Like, he's coming at me. He's making me feel like I'm on the defensive, right? Before I know him, oh, there's strike one, I'm already strike two. Geez, like, what am I going to do, right? That, that, that can be intimidating as an offensive player when you face a pitcher that says, here we go, I'm throwing the ball over the middle of the plate, I'm coming right at you, Okay? versus the guy that you get up there and they're just trying they're trying to pick and nibble and they miss and they miss. It's difficult to be able to hit, you know, to be able to just live on the corners all day long, right? It's even difficult for big league pitchers, guys that have really, really good command. It's hard for them to just pinpoint the ball back and forth here. But if I try to attack the middle of the plate, hitting's hard, right? Like, I, I know from experience, hitting can be difficult. Even if the ball is over the middle of the plate. All right, so I always tell our pitchers, go at them. Like, go at them. Don't be afraid to pitch to the middle of the plate. All right, get ahead of guys. Put them on the defensive. You go on the offensive, okay? And now once we get ahead, okay, now we can start to move the ball a little bit more, right? Now we can start to try to hit the corners a little bit. Now we can try to expand. But I, I never get the opportunity to do that if I'm constantly falling behind, right? And you, you can make bad hitters good hitters by putting them in 2-0 counts all the time, but putting them in 3-1 counts all the time, okay? So just a quick tip. Don't be afraid to take back the middle of the plate from the hitter. Go at them, okay? Hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know in the section below, in the comment section, if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff in there that I think you guys will enjoy. And that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.